Hello, today we're going to look at a remote monitoring solution developed by Wintech called the HMI Viewer. HMI Viewer is intended to provide users with non-CMT HMIs an alternative to VNC Viewer. This video aims to serve as a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up and use HMI Viewer, but first I'd like to discuss some of the key features and similarities that it shares with other remote monitoring solutions. Like CMT Viewer, HMI Viewer works by creating a separate instance of the HMI project that runs on the client device, as opposed to transferring the graphics shown on the HMI's display. This means that only project data is shared between the client and the HMI, so the operator and whoever is connected using HMI Viewer may work independent of each other. However, unlike CMT Viewer, HMI Viewer does not have a way of establishing a hierarchy of control, whereas CMT projects can use control tokens to determine what objects can be controlled by those connecting through CMT Viewer, HMI Viewer cannot. Therefore, users will have to be careful not to put the operator at risk when connecting to an HMI. HMI Viewer is supported by all non-CMT series HMIs and it can only be accessed through the Easy Access 2.0 application on PC. Because Easy Access 2.0 only allows a maximum of three users to be connected to a single HMI at one time, this limit also applies to HMI Viewer as well. Now we'll be going through all of the steps needed to use HMI Viewer to monitor your HMI remotely. The first step is to make sure your HMI can access the Easy Access 2.0 server. Certain models like the MT8053IE, MT8073IE, MT8103IE, or the MT8092XE have an Easy Access 2.0 license built in. However, if you are not using any of these models, you'll have to activate Easy Access 2.0 on your HMI using an activation card. The link within the description will take you to our official documentation which contains information as to how you can achieve this. Once Easy Access 2.0 activation has been confirmed on your HMI, you will need to add the HMI to your domain. This can be done in either WinCloud or the Easy Access 2.0 application. During this demonstration, I'll show you how to do this in WinCloud. On the WinCloud sign-in page, there is a download link for Easy Access 2.0. If you have not already, please select the appropriate link to download this application. Moving on, if you do not already have a WinCloud account, you'll have to register a new domain. If you have already been using Easy Access 2.0 prior to WinCloud, you can sign in using those credentials. Once registered, sign in and go to the Device tab on the left-hand side. Here we can add an HMI to our domain. In order to add a pre-licensed HMI to your domain, you will need the session ID and password. If the HMI has not been activated, you will need the HMI's hardware key and an Easy Access 2.0 activation code. For non-CMT HMIs, the session ID, password, and hardware key can be displayed using Windows 76 within Easy Builder Pro. You will have to configure a project in Easy Builder Pro that will allow you to navigate to this window and view the session ID. Note that an HMI will need to be connected to the internet to get its session ID, and each HMI can only be registered to one domain at a time. Now that the HMI has been registered to your domain, log into the Easy Access 2.0 application with your WinCloud credentials. If your HMI is connected to the internet, you should be able to establish a connection by clicking the inward facing arrows. However, before doing so, click on the HMI's icon and navigate to the Access Setting tab. Here we can select one of the available remote monitoring options. Click on Use HMI Viewer, select Upload Project, and enter in the HMI's password, then press OK. Now click on the inward facing arrows to establish a connection between your PC and the HMI. You should see a blue icon appear under the inward facing arrows. This button will open HMI Viewer.
Note that when HMI Viewer is open, you will not be able to interact with the Easy Access 2.0 application without first exiting HMI Viewer. With this, you now know how to use HMI Viewer to connect to and monitor your HMI. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our channel where we have more hardware and software tutorials. You can also visit our website at wintechusa.com to get the latest software downloads, view our official documentation, and more. Thanks for watching.